All right, so <clears throat> his speaker wire was not cut. This red and black wire is for the motor. The motor wires, I, I don't know if they work. <laughs> the motor function might be fried. Um, his speaker is dead. This is his control box. His speaker is definitely dead. Um, and I plugged a bigger one into it. See, this is an 8 ohm 0.5 watt speaker. That's only a 4 ohm. 8 ohms, for comparison, is the same speaker rating as this amplifier. So that's a fucking... <laughs> that's fucking weird. Um, so I'm going to see if I can find another one. Um, however, uh, it'll be very easy to get his body standing up. That will definitely be the easiest part here, which I didn't expect. And also his sensor and his eyes still work, so none of that fell apart. So I might not be able to get the body turn working. I will hopefully be able to get the sound working if I can find another speaker of the same rating. Because I did plug that one into it and it made a little bit of noise, but not much. Worst case scenario, and I really hope it's not this, the sound amplifier capacitor is blown on the board, which was the same issue as the Jimmy Fran Dancing Frankenstein. So, I'll uh, keep updated. All right, well, I got him rigged up. Um, he stands now, and he's pretty much fully stable. Uh, fucking, he's pretty much, I think, it, like exactly as tall as he is originally. Because I know this fucker is tall as shit, and the way that I have him, his jumpsuit pretty much fits him perfectly. Um, unfortunately, a bit of the back of the head latex ripped because it was glued onto the jumpsuit. But I'll probably just, like, tie a string around, like, the inside of the ruffle when I want to put it back on. Anyway, so, what I did is I drilled a few holes through this PVC pipe, ran zip ties through them. Firstly, I ran the wire for the motor and the relay switch through it. Then I put the zip ties through. I slipped this pole onto the main body pole so that the zip ties would hold it in there so it wouldn't jam up any like any more upwards. Then I drilled a hole through the neck piece. I zip tied this to that other zip tie so that it would <laughs> keep it pulled back so it would be stable and it wouldn't he wouldn't like lean way the fuck forward. Um, and now it's pretty much perfectly stable. And then I duct taped this piece and zip tied this around here so that he doesn't like turn from his torso. I haven't really done anything with the mechanics. I don't know if the motor is fried or not. Cause I, these are the motor wires and I'm not really getting any life out of them. <sighs> Same with the sound. Um, by the way, here's this control box. <laughs> it is in a weird ass place. Um, but yeah, he at least looks pretty damn good now uh i got his arms posed pretty much the way i want them the knife hand just kind of like i might have to re-glue that or something but like just kind of yeah i don't know his wrist seems pretty broken but i don't really mind it um his other hand is fine but yeah i've got him posed pretty well and overall so far he looks pretty good um He's still... Here, let me plug him in. Fuck. Where's the fucking cable? Ugh. I'll have to check with my multimeter to see if um, I actually can get any life out of his motor wires. I just gotta find my multimeter. I don't know where it went. Okay, so right now he still only uh, lights up his eyes. Come on. Come on. There we are. Yeah, right now he still only lights up his eyes. Um, if I if the motor ends up being fried, I might try to rig up uh, a deer mech so that his body will pretty much turn constantly when he's turned on. Uh, he won't reset to the middle. <laughs> turn on. He won't reset to the middle, but it'll be fine. He'll at least you know turn. So I wouldn't mind him not resetting to the middle. But yeah, overall so far not bad. Um, considering that I did this within a day and I pretty much had to rebuild his whole neck. Uh, it could be worse. It could be worse. I still have to figure out why the speaker isn't working. I know it's blown. Um, at least I'm pretty sure it's blown. Maybe I'll test it on something else, but I, pr I plugged in that speaker over there and it didn't work. I think I talked about this in the um, last clip. I don't fucking know. That was hours ago. Uh, but... Anyway, yeah, so 
I'll keep updated. Oh, and here's a bit of his uh, side profile. So you can see that he really doesn't lean that much anymore. Like, at least from his neck. He obviously leans forward slightly because Talux used the absolute world's thinnest metal for his poles. But, eh, overall, he's pretty stable. So, so far, I'm pretty happy with how he's looking. Again, I'll keep updated.